Hey everyone, Ben here and you're looking at one of the newest cars to land in AMS2, the Formula USA 2023. Resembling a modern Indy car, it's temporarily available to everyone right now in the latest release candidate build and will then be sold as part of the Racing USA DLC. And because of the latest physics updates, it might be my favourite car in the sim. So we're at Long Beach in this new modern Indy car which is running on the soon to be released 1.5 version of AMS2 with revamped physics, tyre modelling and AI amongst other changes. Now a big caveat to start with, I have not had much time with this new build of AMS2 and this is the only car that I've properly tried so far. Much more playtime will be required to come to a proper judgement on all of the changes. But even with that caution in mind, if the driving feel of this car is anything to go by, version 1.5 could be a bit of a game changer for AMS2. Immediately you can feel the car is more connected to the road. Understeer and oversteer are more predictable. The rear tyres especially feel more consistent, with wheel spin more progressive and easier to anticipate. Overall the car feels less skittish, far less prone to a kind of pendulum swing through corners and that classic AMS2 power slide. The Formula USA 23 also generally feels more responsive in its handling than other high downforce cars I've tried previously in the sim, with more consistent grip through corners too. And while I don't believe the brakes have actually been updated in this version of the game, somehow they also feel more predictable and progressive. Perhaps that's the culmination of other improvements that give this feel. For me, this and the recently released Nissan GT3 are the closest any cars in AMS2 have come to feeling like a comparable machine in another sim. It seems like Reza are on to something big with the changes they're making in the most recent updates. In particular, this new changelog references updates to a large number of aerodynamic features, suspension, under trays and more, as well as the tyre contact patch with the road surface. And my early impression is they're working extremely well together. The AI is also getting plenty of improvements and although they're still a little chop happy at the apex if you're running side by side, I must say overall impressions were pretty good here too, with close racing between AI drivers, seemingly fewer cars running directly nose to tail and largely consistent pace around the different corners of the Long Beach lap. The force feedback feels great here too, you absolutely feel every bump of the track surface and the texture of every kerb. And graphically of course AMS2 remains stunning to look at, it's why I always take up any excuse to visit Long Beach in the sim, it's comfortably the most beautiful version of the track in sim racing. Now I'll be honest I've struggled to get excited about AMS2 recently, some stuttering bugs were plaguing my ability to enjoy the sim but even beyond those the core handling and physics of the game although improved just wasn't matching up for me to other titles that I race. But my first impressions of this update are very positive indeed, I can't wait to turn more laps in this new Indy car and try out some of the other cars with 1.5 physics already implemented, especially the range of Formula 1 cars in the sim. Speaking of which, if you want to see some of the best combinations you can run on AMS2 featuring classic Formula 1 cars, check out the video that's on screen now.